Throughout her life, Mexican artist Frida Kahlo painted 150 works, and most of them were self-portraits drawn from her own suffering. Today, we delve into the life and work of this painter with 10 facts about Frida Kahlo. So if you want to know the story behind these iconic paintings, subscribe. Childhood Magdalena Carmen Frida Kahlo was born on July 6, 1907 in Coyoacan, Mexico. When Frida was six years old, she suffered from poliomyelitis. This disease caused her right leg to be thinner and shorter than her left. And although she survived, she was unable to have children. Accident In 1925, Frida was just 18 years old when a bus she was traveling on was hit by a tram. The accident left her with several broken bones and severe spinal injuries. She would never fully recover. Recovery After the accident, Frida spent the next three months bedridden in a plaster corset. Her mother gave her some paint and an easel, and she began experimenting with self-portraits. Frida said, I paint myself because I'm usually alone, and I'm the object I know best. The Mexican Revolution Frida's childhood coincided with the Mexican Revolution, and she considered herself a daughter of the revolution. Her paintings increasingly reflected revolutionary ideals in combination with the popular Mexican aesthetics of the time. Communist Party and Diego Rivera In 1927, Frida joined the Mexican Communist Party and established a strong circle of friends. That's how she met painter Diego Rivera, and just two years later, they were married. It was the beginning of a passionate, yet stormy, relationship. Frida and her miscarriages From 1930 to 1933, Frida and Diego lived throughout the United States, from New York and Detroit to Los Angeles. On July 4, 1932, Frida suffered her first miscarriage while living in Detroit, and that was followed by two more. This was due to her body being unable to support a pregnancy as a result of the polio she suffered as a child. Her realization that it would be impossible for her to have children profoundly affected her art. Surrealism Frida combined her characteristic popular imagery with the avant-garde style of her time, and the world loved it. In 1939, she exhibited her paintings at the Louvre. Although André Breton, one of the founders of the Surrealist movement, considered Frida to be a Surrealist, she was quick to disagree. She said that she didn't paint her dreams and that she painted her own life. House of San Angel and Trotsky Frida and Diego separated briefly before returning to Mexico City where they moved into a new house in the wealthy neighborhood of San Angel. There, they hosted numerous artists and political activists, such as the exiled Soviet communist revolutionary Leon Trotsky. Last Years of Life Throughout the final years of her life, Frida endured persistent and severe pain. She underwent numerous surgeries and battled post-operative infections, including one that took her right leg. Even so, she continued to paint, and most of her still lifes are from this period. Because as she said, feet, what do I need you for when I have wings to fly? Death. On July 13, 1954, Frida Kahlo's brush stopped painting. Today, her ashes rest in her childhood home, La Casa Azul, the Blue House, in her home country of Mexico. Her work, drawn from a lifetime of suffering and self-improvement, has traveled worldwide and left an indelible mark on popular culture. Hit that like button and tell us in the comments what you'd like us to talk about in the next video. And don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.